All right, let me drink my tea first. Let me drink my tea first, girl. Mmm. Mmm. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video with me, Just Gatleo. I'm so glad to have you here. And if you are not subscribed, please subscribe, join the family. Also, please do join the membership space as well. There's a whole lot of content that's on there and it's typically things that I wouldn't share in the main space. Also, have your notification bell on because every single time I upload, you will get a message on your phone that says, Good Sis has uploaded a video. So uh, please do that. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to a new video. We are going to be talking about in this video how to live a purposefully driven life. Now, the reason why this video has come up or video idea has come up is because I got a very heartfelt message uh in my dms a couple of weeks ago on instagram also follow me on instagram i got a very heartfelt message in my dms from a young woman who was telling me that you know what cat i'm 27 or 28 and i really just do not know what my purpose in my life is or what it should be how do i find it how do i figure out what i want to be driven about or what i want to be inspired about or what i want to you know pursue in my life going forward and i felt like this was such a great question but i wasn't in a position in which i could answer her because i feel like purpose for everyone is different whatever your purpose is is going to be different from what my purpose is going to be. But I thought to myself that it would be a great way to actually give maybe golden nuggets of how one can find their purpose or how one can try and work towards a purposefully driven life or living a purposefully driven life. This is maybe going to be part of that motivate and inspire kind of segment or series of videos that I used to do, but I'm reintroducing slowly. Um, so if you're keen on watching this video, if you want to send it to somebody who you think it may help, if you are also struggling with your purpose in life, then definitely let's get into the video. Watch the video. So for me, finding my purpose in my life also took me forever. I didn't wake up knowing what my purpose was or go into high school knowing what my purpose was. Hell, I was even in university. I didn't really know what my purpose was or what I wanted it to be or what trajectory I wanted my life to follow. All I knew was that I want to work with people. I want to work with children and nothing in what I was studying at school could have inspired the working with children bit but when i did my postgrad i knew that i want to relate and interact with people on a on a, on a day to day basis so figuring out what my purpose in life was was really challenging because i didn't quite know what i want to do in order to fulfill this purposefully driven life so I took it upon myself to actually discover this and find out and figure out within myself or in, inside my heart what it is that I want to achieve uh, when it comes to my life and how I can do it from a perspective of being purposefully driven. So essentially what ended up happening is I started a YouTube channel with my sister. And when I started a YouTube channel with my sister, I loved it. Initially, it was, oh, okay, let's do beauty videos, travel videos, uh, let's, you know, your what's in my bags, you know, the, those, those regular videos that were trending quite a bit on YouTube. And I was like, you know what, let's start it like that. And then I quickly realized, as much as my sister also quickly realized that, you know what, I don't necessarily want to go this way in the content that I would want to share with the world or what I want to bring forth for myself with the world, I don't really necessarily want to go this way. I want to approach it this way. 
these are the things that I want to talk about on my space. These are the things that I want to interact with people about. These are the things that I want to bring forward or bring forth on my social media platforms. These are the things that I want to talk towards when it comes to me living my purposefully driven life. The, the way in which I discovered that was through the little things that I would do each and every single day. Now, this is going to be the tricky one because the first one that I can essentially think about and I, 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 I feel like for me personally, it took a whole lot of work and uh, being around people, my interactions with people, my interactions with children, my interactions with just the world, finding what my passion was. Now for, this is point number one, right? For me, I feel like if you want to live a purposefully driven life, the first thing you need to do is find your passion. And this is hard because I remember responding to this young lady in my DMs and I said, what are you passionate about? And she said to me, I don't know. I don't have anything that I'm passionate about. And this, I feel like, is the one thing that can help kickstart you into finding your way into living a purposefully driven life. So, what is your passion? And when we talk about what is your passion and finding it, we're looking at things like exploring, interacting with others, being around other people, figuring out what it is that you like and what you don't like. Even if it means writing down a list or a vision board, you know, like people sit and talk about things like vision boards. It's because it's real. It's legit. Writing down a list, doing a vision board. What do I like? Do I like clothes? Okay. Then do something with clothes, right? Uh, do put something on your vision board regarding clothes. What do I like? Do I like helping children? Do I like helping people? Do I like talking about self-development? What do I like? Do I like talking about mental health? Do I like helping others um, financially? Do I like assisting others uh, mentally? Whatever it is that you are passionate about. What are you passionate about? Are you passionate about building furniture? Are you passionate about decorating your home? Are you passionate? What is it that you're passionate about? And actually write it down or have it on a vision board that you can look at each and every single day. Because the thing is, this is what comes with manifesting, right? When you manifest a life that you want for yourself, you actually have to live it. You have to live it, breathe it, speak it in your language, in your walk, in your talk. It needs to be like, every, it must encompass each and every single part of you. So finding purpose is exploring what parts of yourself you want to work on or what parts of yourself you want to open up to the world and listen to your heart, listen to what it's telling you that, you know what, I'm passionate about this, that, and the other. And that's your one way, your one easiest ticket to finding purpose in your life or working towards a purposefully driven life. So the reason with purpose and, 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 and finding a passion is what drives you what pushes you? What's going to help you get up in the morning and feel like, you know what, that by the time you go to bed that night, yes, I did something worthwhile today. This is why you need to find a purpose, a passion. <laughs> There's too many P's, guys, okay? This is why you need to find a passion in order for you to live a purposefully driven life. You have to find something that will drive you each and every single day that will encompass, will encompass a sense of purpose in you. If, here's another thing. You can't be purposefully driven or want to live a purposefully driven life without working on yourself. Self-improvement, self-development, which is essentially what my channel is all about. You know this, mental health, self-development, self-improvement, all of that. You cannot find purpose in your life if you're walking through your life thinking you're absolutely perfect. There's nothing wrong with you. Everybody's the problem. I'm not the problem. Everybody's the problem. I'm perfectly fine. I'm great. 
that's unrealistic it's a lie and it's unrealistic working on improving yourself each and every single day is a great way in order to propel a purposefully driven life because then you know that you are not perfect you know that at the end of the day you need to work on yourself every day things about you that may be toxic traits things about you that people do not quite appreciate and you know that those things are wrong working on them every single day work on your studies push yourself motivate yourself at the end of the day if you don't do it for yourself who's going to do it for you right so working on your studies working on being a better version of yourself at work at school you know pumping yourself driving yourself um to be the be a better version of yourself today than you were yesterday. It's really, really important to work on self-improving yourself every single day to find purpose in what you're looking forward to for the rest of your life. So working on yourself could be various things. It could be self-improvement when it comes to learning a new language, taking up a new hobby, learning something um, that is outside of what you would typically learn, watch things that are uh, motivating or inspiring or um, knowledge-based, whatever it may be. Learn a new skill, whatever it may be. You wanna do calligraphy, sure. Maybe you find the art of calligraphy really, really just, it's beautiful. The writing of calligraphy, very beautiful. For all you know, you could end up being a big high shot calligraphist who does the, the invitations for weddings and this and that. You don't know. So learning a new skill, opening up your mind to saying that, okay, I don't know everything. I don't want to know everything. I'll probably never know everything, but I'm willing to learn. I'm willing to jump outside of my comfort zone. I'm willing to jump outside of the box and learn new things, whether it be art, whether it be life, love, mental health, whatever it may be, you have to open up your uh, mind, heart, everything to self-improvement and learning new things, skills, school, uh, education, work, whatever it may be. You have to want to improve yourself each and every single day so that you can be better than you were yesterday. Then when you do that, you're growing. You're growing and that's, that's a good thing. That's a good Another thing. thing that I find to be very, very important in terms of helping you build a purposefully driven life is to help others. Be there for others, no matter how much you may help them or in what way you may help them. Because when you help or bring yourself forward to helping others, yes, it is not only noble, but it gives you a sense of purpose because then you understand how interconnected we are. Then you understand how I'm actually learning something for school that, um, it's part of physics and, and it's like a, a quantum theory, um, um, uh, a quantum physics theory. And it talks about how everything exists in space and time and how as humans, we are all connected. There's an interconnectedness about us. And when you help someone as much as it may give you, um, purpose because you feel like you've done something good for someone, it is also a noble thing to do, but it helps you understand why we are so interconnected as people. And because of that, that could be something as simple as volunteering, give clothes away, volunteer at the SPCA, volunteer about, you know, uh, cleaning up your neighborhood. I know in our area, sometimes when the neighborhood gets a little bit dirty or what have you, the neighborhood will come together and actually clean up and... Um, you know, we donate food, we donate clothes when there's things like floods or, or uh, people have lost their homes and things like that. There's groups that are formulated so that you can help and donate something. Um, volunteer at work, help out your friends, be selfless. Not all the time, yes, but be selfless when it comes to the people that you care about. Help them out. Help out your family. Your mother wants you to babysit your little sister because she has to go to work or she wants just a spa day or whatever. Do just those little things that create interconnectedness between you and other people. And when you do that, it helps you understand how the world works. It helps you, it's the concept of Ubuntu as well, right? It helps you understand how the, the way of the world works and also helps you develop a, a um, how do I say this? An interconnectedness with others. And that 
brings or derives through you purpose as well. So it helps you understand those little things better, slowly but surely. And to be honest, before I end off this little point, to be honest, there is nothing that feels better than helping someone out. There is nothing that feels better in the world than helping someone. Being the reason why that little boy has school shoes to go to school because you know, or being the reason why those girls in that community have access to pads and tampons and things like that. There is nothing that feels better in the world, even if it's through small things. Yes, you might not know anyone who really needs pads or tampons or whatever, but there's always campaigns that are happening. Donate. Donate to Gift of the Givers. Donate to Discam when they're doing the pad drives. Donate to people who you know are um, in the NGO business and are constantly doing I, I, I donated to um, Wits University a couple of weeks ago. One of the departments in Wits University was going to a school and they were donating sanitary towels. And I donated. I didn't tell anyone about it. I didn't make it a big, huge spiel. I just put some money forth and I donated. They wanted me to come, but I was busy with work. And I said, you know what I'm saying? Listen, we want the girls to get the pads, okay? And I sent through some money and they, they were able to... Um, 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 use my money, buy, send me the proof of payment, all of that, and donate. Even though I could not be there in, in person, but I knew that some girls were going to get some pads because of money that I had donated to buy those pads. So it made me feel good either way. So this one is a hard one, but it's an important one. Remove or work on the unpleasant. Okay, so this could be anything. In your life you have to try and remove yourself from situations that are unpleasant or work on when it comes to yourself whatever may be unpleasant if you have a mental health issue or a struggle I hate saying issue if you have a mental health struggle or something like that work on that don't ignore your body don't ignore your mind when they are trying to tell you something if your body's trying to tell you something that bro I'm not happy something is gonna happen and you're going to be able to see that my body ain't happy I need to do something about it my mind is not happy I need to do something about it remove the unpleasant Bad friendship, remove it. Unhealthy relationship, remove it. If you're, uh, you've got a bad habit, um, maybe you've got a bad habit, maybe you chew on your nails, maybe you smoke thick or whatever, whatever it may be, and you're trying to let go of it, or you run with the wrong crowd, maybe you're part of a gang, and you're trying to get out, you have to remove the unpleasant so that you can welcome good things into your life. That will help you find purpose because you're removing what is not helpful for you in your life. If you cannot completely remove it, you have to um, promise to work on, you have to promise yourself that you're going to work on developing yourself, like personal development, right? So if you can't completely remove it, then work on it. Work on the unpleasant to make your life a little bit better for yourself going forward. Very, very important. I heard a doing 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 doing. I'm not sure. <clears throat> This is a very, very important one when it comes to living a purposefully driven life. Challenge yourself. You have to go outside of your comfort zone. You cannot live. You see, if your comfort zone is here, you must be here. You have to be here. If your comfort zone is here, you got to be here. There is nothing new you're going to learn about yourself or the world around you if you do not challenge yourself. So all those little things that you were afraid to do, Challenge yourself to do them. You feel like you deserve that promotion? Challenge yourself. Put your name up there for that promotion. You feel like uh, you want to take a solo trip, but you're afraid, you know, what might happen? Challenge yourself. Maybe take a small Anyana one instead of going to Europe. Maybe go to Cape Town and take a solo trip. Challenge yourself to do things that you typically wouldn't do. So you need to get outside of your comfort zone so that you can be able to see that, oh my gosh, learn the world, learn the ways of the world. Also learn yourself and learn that this is something that I actually love to do. Then in turn, you will have discovered a new passion about yourself. However, if you do not challenge yourself, 
You're going to constantly live within the same bubble of your life for the rest of your life. You're not learning anything new. You're not growing yourself. You feel like you want to eat healthier. You want to you wanna work out. You want to try yoga, but you, you, your ankle is jacked up, but you want to try it. Challenge yourself and see how far it will get you. If you do not challenge yourself, you're staying in the same place. You're not growing. And when you're not growing, you're not learning. And when you're not learning, I think it's the other way around. When you're not learning, you're not growing. And when you're not growing, you're in the same place for the rest of your life. Is that a life worth living? Or would it be better to challenge yourself? And if you do challenge yourself, what do you have to lose? I feel like it's one of the things that you have to ask yourself constantly all the time. What do you have to lose? When I was thinking about going back to school, I was just like, Come on, really? Like, you're 35. Do you have to? I mean, your life is fine. Do you really have to? But then... I want to take up another career. I want to follow another trajectory of my life. As much as I already have an established career, I want to, I want to start another one. And I'm 35. And that's fine. And this one involves working with people. And it involves personal development. And it involves self-improvement. And it involves wellness. And... That's my phone. That's my phone. All right. Another thing... Use your talents. Some people are just born with talent in their bones. Whatever your talent is, do you sing? Great. Do you cook? Excellent. Do you whatever? Whatever it may be, use your talents and speak your talents out into the world. That's why there are platforms like YouTube. If you're a singer or a cook or a personal development person or a this or a that, use your talents. If you're an entertainer, you're a performer, there's TikTok. There's, can you, do you know how many people have been discovered on TikTok? on Instagram have been discovered because of just their talents. How many people have started um, chef careers because now they're, they're, just, they're just well known chefs, all from starting to cook and post it up online. Use whatever talent that you feel like this, this, this is where the danger is when it comes to me. I'm good at this. I am fantastic at this. I am fantastic at motivating and inspiring people. I'm fantastic at cooking. I'm fantastic at running. I'm fantastic at dancing. I'm fantastic at singing. Whatever it may be, use your talents and showcase your talents to the world. Because you never know in what, in what space or phase or whatever of your life where you are projecting that talent onto the world that it could bring you some good fortune or some good luck. So use the talents that have been given to you. Use them. Second last, I'm going to add, set your goals. You have to manifest. You have to write things down. See it. Set your goals in your mind. What do you want to achieve and by when? How do you think you're going to achieve it? If you're going to struggle achieving it, who could help you achieve it along the way? You have to set your goals in motion so that you can be purposefully ambitious about them each and every single day. You wake up knowing that this is what I want to achieve. This is the timeline I, in which I want to achieve it by and this is what I need to do to get there. You have to set your goals. If you don't set your goals what it's the pay post what it's the pay post you have to try and set the goals so that you have something to look forward to you have something that you are looking to to achieve so vision boards and things like that that is fantastic because that's where you can also put your goals as well so set your goals so that you know what you are working towards each and every single day that's 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 all it is that's all there is to it and then lastly lastly Practice mindfulness in the sense that be present. Just be present. Be present in your life, in your interactions with others. Be present in the moment. Know why you want to do something and actually give of yourself to doing that one thing. If you do not, if you're doing things half-heartedly, if you're doing things just, ah, it's, you know, it's, it's fine. I'm just reading this book because I want to read this book, but I really don't really want to understand 
or you know engross myself in this book or whatever be present in each and every single one of your interactions whatever it is that you may be doing whether you're with other people you're at work you're at school, you're learning something, be present. And being present means being mindful. So be mindful how you are towards others. Be mindful how you treat things like your schoolwork and your work work and, you know, um, how you treat things that are important to you. Be mindful about things like that. Um, and that's it. That's all I've got for you. I hope this video was helpful into helping you find some sort of understanding as to what it means to live a purposefully driven life. And I hope you find your purpose if you already haven't. And if you have, go forth and soar, my darling. Go forth and soar. And I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget, subscribe. Also, share this video with somebody who you think it will help. Also, join the membership space. There's a lot of content coming on there as well. And I'll see you in the next video. Okay, until then.